Hello everyone, my name is Candace Snyder. I'm the fundraising manager for the Scleroderma Foundation Tri-State Chapter. I wanna say thank you for joining in today's webinar. Today's webinar will feature various topics from the following individuals. Bruce Cowan, our executive director, Marilyn Sidley, the board secretary and the Greater Rochester Support Group leader, as well as the Rochester Walk Chairperson, Lindsay Cohen, our Manhattan Walk Chairperson, Mark Krieger, our board president and the Ridgefield Park Walk Chairperson, Antoinette Chiochi, our Poughkeepsie Walk volunteer, and myself. Hello, I am pleased to be speaking to you today on a Tri-State Chapter's mission on raising awareness and how you can get involved. June is Scleroderma Awareness Month. Together, all of us need to be creating awareness of this difficult disease, scleroderma. A number of my dear friends, some board members, patients, dedicated volunteers, including my daughter, and my fellow staff member, fundraising manager, Candace Schneider, will be addressing different aspects of our efforts and how you can be involved. First, the chapter and the foundation operate on a three-pronged mission of support, education, and research. You ask, what is that? Our support, we provide educational and emotional support to people with scleroderma and their families. Education, we enhance the public's awareness of this disease. Research, we stimulate and support research designed to identify the cause of and cure for scleroderma, as well as improve methods of treatment. So why do we wanna raise awareness? What are we trying to accomplish? In order for us to achieve our mission and serve our patient community, we must develop a better understanding of scleroderma as well as raise funds so we can support our mission. Awareness is interwoven into our whole mission. It's not something we just pull out of the closet and raise a flag on, in a month of June on. We must educate the general public as well as the medical community on this complex disease. Why do you ask? Because awareness can lead to patients being diagnosed faster and more accurately, which will lead to better treatments starting earlier and therefore improve a patient's quality of life while they're living with their disease scleroderma. We need you to get engaged. Whether you're a patient, a loved one, a caregiver, a friend, to help us better serve the scleroderma patient community in our region. My colleagues will share with you a number of opportunities on how you can become involved. The Tri-State's motto has always been, you are not alone. Together, let's show patients we are there for them, not just in the month of June, but all year long. The community is essential to the success of any nonprofit organization. Therefore, the first step is to engage the public. By engaging the community, it provides an opportunity to promote the scleroderma mission and its goals. It's important to clearly articulate this message. Without a clear understanding of our mission and goals, no one would be interested in supporting our cause. It's an opportunity to connect with people who have never heard of scleroderma and also link up with scleroderma patients not aware of our existence. Furthermore, it's a chance to promote participation in support groups education forums, health fairs, conferences, and fundraising activities. The next step is to collaborate and do outreach in the following areas. Local businesses. Think about asking local business owners to get involved. Personally, I think a partnership is a great opportunity for both parties to help make a difference in the community by offering their business skills and creativity to support the mission of the organization. In some cases, the more business owners learn about scleroderma, the more invested they may become. Therefore, providing opportunities to host events, sponsorships, and offer monetary support. They also may have a customer base that doesn't know about the organization, but may be interested in participating in events, therefore deciding to support the mission as well. The next group is health agencies and the medical community. 
Partnering with health agencies and the medical community is an excellent opportunity to provide a greater understanding of scleroderma and hopefully help to determine earlier diagnosis. It's also an opportunity to share information on the latest health data, best practices and resources to help advance patient care. However, the best way for health professionals to learn about scleroderma is to actually attend educational forums, participate in roundtables, offer grand rounds, and interact with other patients. The final group is the government. It's important to reach out and build relationships with local and federal officials. Your group can benefit from these connections. Once representatives are familiar with you and the organization, they will most likely participate in events such as walks, education forums, and World Scleroderma Day. It's an opportunity to engage them to support HR 3445 and S2447, therefore promoting them to work for adequate federal funding for scientific research and the development of a cure for scleroderma and other diseases. Additional steps to support outreach would be to talk about scleroderma at any given moment. Always carry scleroderma business cards, research how to get involved in health fairs, community health organizations, etc. Create a business contact list. This could include speakers, vendors, et cetera. Look through the newspaper and call the contact person listed. Check the online community calendar and call the contact person listed. Follow up with a letter of introduction. Learn to network and or join other groups that focus on community health initiatives. The benefits are volunteers who are committed individuals to support and promote our mission partnerships to collaborate with community organizations and share resources, sponsorships to financially support research, education forums, workshops, walks, and national scleroderma patient conferences. You have one chance to get people involved. Be sure to make it count. Hi, everyone. My name is Lindsay Cowan. I'm a volunteer with the Scleroderma Foundation Tri-State Chapter, and I've been the chairperson of the Manhattan Walk for the past 10 years. While our walks are unfortunately not taking place as usual this June, you can still keep your network of family, friends, and colleagues engaged with the mission of the foundation via social media right now. Here are a few tips for the best ways to use Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram during Scleroderma Awareness Month this June. First, make it personal. When you write a post, share a photo, or ask for a donation, Remember to share why you are personally connected to the mission of the foundation. Maybe it's because you're a patient and you appreciate the connection and community of other patients. Maybe it's because you lost a loved one to this disease and you're committed to helping find a cure so that others don't suffer. Sharing your personal connection and the specifics about why you're involved will help make others want to support you. Second, make it simple and tangible. Whatever message you choose to share on social media Make it easier for your followers to take action. If you're asking them for, to donate, make a, the link to your fundraising page really easily accessible and consider asking them to donate a specific dollar amount, like 35 if it's your 35th birthday. If you're asking them to spread awareness, write a simple message about scleroderma or create a photo collage and ask them to share it with, say, 10 of their friends, for instance. Third, make it relevant. There's a lot going on in the world right now, and a lot of different messages are being shared on social media. It's smart to acknowledge the circumstances the network of your friends and family are experiencing right now and not try to compete with other causes. They're all worthy. Make sure your message is relevant in the context of everything going on and doesn't come off as tone deaf or insensitive. Keep it positive and uplifting. That's all I have to share. Thank you for listening, and thank you for your help in supporting the Scleroderma Foundation. Remember to follow Scleroderma Tri-State on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and sign up to receive the monthly e-newsletter in your inboxes. Thanks so much, and stay healthy and safe, everyone. Life has changed as a result of COVID-19, and it will continue to be a challenge to our patient population and their families, even when social distancing guidelines and stay-at-home orders are relaxed. You know our major fundraising efforts have always been the walks, and this year, we're gonna have virtual walks. They can only be successful if you participate. Please go to our website, 
and create your own virtual team and if you don't want to make a team then make a personal donation be creative with your social media posts to your friends and family and spread the word about your virtual walk participation this is mark krieger saying thank you and stay safe mark krieger informed us how we could get involved with this year's walks as he mentioned the walks have gone virtual for october 10th 2020 so join us by going to steppingoutwalk.org and registering for one of the 11 walks that we have listed. Step out with us by joining a team or starting your own, or even walking as an individual. Right now, I would like to introduce to you to a Poughkeepsie Walk volunteer who has, over the years, hosted many fundraising activities prior to the walks to benefit her own personal walk efforts. In the meantime, she was able to actually spread scleroderma awareness by meeting other individuals that had no idea what scleroderma was. So please join me as we welcome Antoinetta Chiochi. Uberbury, where I do my main event, um, they are very community-based. Uh, people come in and out of that venue for um, just drop by. That's how I have actually expanded this. I started the brewery event about seven years ago. And with that said, it has grown tremendously. Um, I go out and I uh, solicit um, raffles for baskets and uh, different prizes to give to folks to, um, that they donate to so that the money goes to the Scleroderma Foundation. Um, in the venue, we have tables set up with lots of information, pamphlets. Um, we discuss a little bit. I, I kind of open up the day with um, a little speech about scleroderma itself and how it affects, you know, men, women, children, um, you know, the 300,000 people that are affected each day. And a little bit, I explain a little bit about scleroderma. Then we, you know, um, have the event. I interact with a lot of the folks, um, explain to them that they also do other fundraisers besides the uh, Newberg Brewery. I do the Five Guys. I have done car washes. Um, we're going to, on Monday, uh, do the live for the golfing tickets because of not being able to um, be at venues and have more than 25 people. So I went out there and through social media, I decided to go ahead and post um, that I'm going to hold this event on Monday. Um, and folks send money to me through PayPal, Venmo, or any of those um, interactive uh, type things that you can send money through. And then the money will be donated to the Scleroderma Foundation. Um, I've watched some live stuff, so I thought it would be pretty interesting to try to hold an event like that. And I can still talk about scleroderma while I'm doing the live event um, and raise money for the foundation. I'm thinking this now that we have so much social media that I think folks could do things like Pampered Chef um, 31, um, uh, Mary Kay, Jewelry. Um, I've watched a lot of folks do that. So I'm willing myself to try that because I think that not only are we getting um, dollars donated to scleroderma, but I find that there's audiences out there that don't know about scleroderma. And I'm able to myself, like I said, I'm gonna try this on Monday and I've seen many other um, organizations do it. So I think it's gonna be beneficial to us, scleroderma doing it media wise, especially with the, our social distancing that's going on right now. Um, so that we could reach those folks that we wouldn't normally reach during one of my big brewery events, so to speak. To challenge you to maybe hold some type of fundraiser event to help support me and the Scleroderma Foundation to be able to raise awareness and funds for a cure for, um, for us. Um, I've done so many different events I hope there's someone out there that could join me or help me to continue those efforts into um, raising the awareness for scleroderma 